Hi friends, how are you? I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to take a new topic about the graphs, bar graphs and types of bar graphs. So welcome to my channel, to Easy Max Online. So please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Let's start. What do you know about bar graph? You know how many types of graphs are there? There are so many. Linear graph, linear graph, bar graph, double bar graph, histogram. So many are there. But in our topic, today we will learn only about bar graph and double bar graph. Okay. Now let's learn what is a bar graph. Look at this. This is a bar graph shape. You can see there are different type of languages are written here. English, Hindi, Spanish, Mandarin. You can write any language, whatever you want. So according to the language spoken, it is drawn in a form of a bar. Like bar graph, you can see here, a bar graph can be used to display and compare data. We are comparing the data of English and Hindi. And the scale should include all the data values and be easily divided into equal intervals. You can see the equal intervals are divided. You can see this horizontal line I have written. Maybe you can write this one horizontal line. The student spoke. 200 spoken the students as English, 400, 600 equal intervals are written. And on the, on the vertical line, languages names are written. It can be any language, Spanish, French, Arabic, any language can, whatever language will be given. Now, if I want to compare these two language, when I see how many students spoke English and Hindi. So when I take this one, you can see English language R, this is 200, maybe this is 350. This is 300, so 350. When I compare English and Hindi language, you can see Hindi language is spoken more. Maybe it is not too much, but little more than English language. So it is 375. So you can examine it, you can approximately write. So this is the way we compare the languages or we compare the subject, we compare the female and male, how many females are presented, how many male. So comparison is used in the form of a bar graph. So a bar graph can be used to display and compare data. The scale should include all the data value and be easily divided equal interval. So this is the equal interval. Now look at this. Now if I take this as a bar graph, now I am comparing different female band, female not band, the, the females who are wearing the bands, hair band, you can say anything. The male bands and male not band. So those who are not wearing the band are they they don't uh, uh, for in the in the group of a band you can see a band is a group you can come you can make that band anything so what how can we compare here look at how to interrupt a bar graph means how to co uh, compare a bar graph we know bar graph shows now this if i give the questions a bar graph shows this is the bar graph, Mrs. Haley's students. Now, this is the one Haley, Haley is a teacher and they are the students, male and female, student by gender and the band membership. Now, look at this. Now, first, if I ask you the questions, how many of Mr. Haley's students are band member? Band member, they didn't ask you male or female. They asked you the only the member, those who ha have the band members. Now you can it can be a male or it can be female. And it can be male and female both. 
So according to this, it is it belongs to female band and male band. So female bands are four, and the students, those who are male band, they are three. So four plus three, it's seven. That means there are seven students who are the membership of the band members. Now, if the question is, how many of me, Mrs. Haley's students are not band members? So it comes here, not band, female not band and male not band. Female, those who are not band members are five and male, those who are not members are six. So you have to add five plus six, it's 11 students. So this is the way we compare the student. And if they ask you if what are the students, who are the students, only a female but a band. So you will take only this part. Female band, only the band student, that means four students. So this is the way we compare. Now let's learn about what is a double bar graph. You know the word double itself means two. Double means two. So can be used, double bar graph can be used to compare two related sets of data. Now we are comparing two related sets. Now you can see this is the bar graph. We know what is a bar graph. Now you can see in one bar, there are two different types of bars. You can see one is a light blue color and the other is the dark one. That means each color also indicate this is a different band and this is a different one. Now for, if I check on the horizontal one, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter and fourth quarter, maybe they are playing a game or whatever. Now we are comparing two. If I compare this as a subject, if I compare this is a mathematics and a English subject. In first quarter, the student, 20 student, are liked by the math student but in the first quarter 30 students like the english subject you can say like this so first you have to remember bar double bar graph you have to first choose a scale and interval for the vertical axis means the y-axis next step you should remember draw a bar graph for each subject if you are taking a subject subject data if you are taking a female and male band, so you can have to take a male and female. It depends on what the question is given. If I take a subject, if I, I will compare the subject about whatever the subject is given. Here I am comparing English and math subject. So the next step, labeling the axis. Now x-axis and y-axis should be labeled with a title. The next step, the last step is to make a key to show which bar represent what. Now, here, when there are two different colors. So this is a key. The light blue color is for the English marks or the mathematic marks and the dark blue for the English marks. So first, now let's do one, one question. If I give the table, now I am comparing the states with urban and ruler, the traffic you can say, the table shows the highway speed limit on interstate road within the three states. There are three states, Florida, Texas, and Vermont. These are the three, and we are comparing about the Florida urban and rural speed, 65 miles per hour, 75 miles per hour. It depends on whatever it's given, kilometer per hour. Okay. Now let's compare urban and rural with different states now look first step is what choose a scale and interval for the y vertical axis now you can see the highest is here 70 right so i will choose a scale zero you can choose 10 20 30 according to equal interval so i am choosing here 20 40 60 and 80 so in between it's 10 30 after 40, 50, 70 is here in between 60 and 80. So first step is completed. Now second step is draw a pair of graph for each state. Now we have to draw a pair of graph. Now for the urban, I have drawn a light blue color for Florida, 
Texa and Vermont. So the dark blue color is for the ruler. So 70 is here and 65 for the arbor. For Texas, 70 and 70, both are equal. For Vermont, 55. So 50 is here, so 55. So 65, just above the 60. So now we draw on the graph. Now the four, third step and fourth step is to label the axis and give the graph a title. First, we have to give the gra graph title. You can see the this very small it's written. Here the, on the y-axis, I have given the speed, x-axis, the state's name, and the what is the title for this? Speed time on interstate road. That means there are we are comparing about the speed. And the fourth step is to make a key. What is for what? This blue color is for what? And the dark blue for what? So this light blue for the urban and the dark blue for the ruler area. So we now we, it's easy for the for us to compare without seeing only. Now you see this is the color urban and ruler. Now we don't know what is the number. With the, seeing the graph only you can see yes, urban is lesser. Here both are equal. Again here urban is the lesser one. So we, we can easily compare with the double graph. I hope you understood, right? So if I give you, if you want to learn more about histogram, I will compare, I will give you in the next chapter. So please be with me.